My mother doesn't understand what I do for a living. I tell her that I'm a motion graphics artist using a program on the Macintosh called After Effects. I tell her that I spend my days creating maps, applying filters to images, doing things like motion sketching or time remapping, contemplating sub-pixel positioning and field dominance. My mom's very proud of me. She thinks I'm an angel. In our world, After Effects is absolutely the only solution to do high-end compositing on a Macintosh. It's very difficult to tell uh, somebody who's spending $350,000 for the commercial. He's going to get the same service and the same quality um, output from a Macintosh computer. What is really important in that is not so much that we just save money, although there are certainly people in my company who are very happy about that, but beyond it is the incredible creative freedom that it gives us to try different things. You will hear in a post-production facility, no matter what you're paying per hour, have you agreed to that layer? Is this okay? Is this going to be fine for you? Because um, in about one minute, we're going to lock it down, move on to something else. And if we go back, we have two or three hours of rebuilding to do. After Effects allows us to do unlimited layers. They're never locked down. They're always available for any kind of um, additional tweaking. No amount of money in a post-production facility can buy you some of the things that are now available in 3.0. The depth of the tools throughout the entire program is aimed at the highest level professionals out there. That means whether you're doing film, you're doing commercials, you're doing CD-ROM development, the program uh, doesn't stand in your way. Pretty much that's the future for Curious Pictures uh, until, well, the next version of After Effects comes out. When we first got After Effects, we realized that we could do a lot of the work in After Effects that we had been previously doing on the Henry and Harry. The only difference was we could do it in our own studio. We tell our clients what we're going to do for them, we've never done for anybody else, and they're getting a whole fresh, unique look. After Effects is like where everything meets in the end. You take still images from Photoshop, bring it all into After Effects, and that's where you do all your motion and compositing, just exactly the same way you would do an expensive facility. A lot of times, we go right out from our Mac onto a D1 tape, and it goes on the air just like that. The programs like After Effects really enable people like my partner and I to have our own businesses and our own studios, because if not, we would always have to have an umbilical cord to a big giant broadcast facility and this way we can just do everything on our own and you know have our own company so it's kind of cool. 3D almost never comes out the way it's supposed to there's almost always something wrong with it and usually there's a lot of things wrong with it and the process of 3D is to re-render tweak it again re-render tweak again re-render. I and all of my colleagues in this industry we're wishing that there was really high quality 2D animation software to finish our, our 3D animation and just basically to be able to do animation in 2D with the same level of sophistication that we do the 3D animation. In fact, heard rumors about this, this program long before I ever got my hands on it and when it finally came, what used to take all day would, would then only take 20 minutes or a half hour. Being able to apply an unlimited number of effects to the same layer and to be able to control the ordering that the effects get applied to each layer and to animate each layer independently, it's an incredible amount of, of sophistication. It gives you a level of, of tweakability that is unprecedented. Nothing else compares as far as getting your image to look the way you want it to look. I was looking for something that would incorporate my skills as a Photoshop person and freehand an illustrator and type into something that I could animate and, and add music to, and After Effects is perfect. Well, After Effects is not a competitor to the Avid or Premiere. They're video editors. After Effects is a compositing program. Really, I think its competition is a, a high-end box like a Quantel, or even not too far removed from a flame. But one of the new features in 3.0 was time remapping, which to me just meant I take a clip and instead of just time stretching it or slowing it down, I can slow it down over time or speed it up over time. And I was at a post house talking to a Cineon operator and said, can you do this on your Cineon? He went, oh no. I just kind of smiled and went home and thought, this is really scary. <laughs> There's lots of work for people who can do what post houses can do now at an affordable rate, but high quality. And it's available now in After Effects. Motion sketch is the first form I know of on the Mac 
definitely in a 2D program anyway, that uh, utilizes a form of motion capture. Whatever you draw on the tablet is updated in real time on the screen. If you speed up your curve, it'll remember that. So you can just draw a path. When you take the mouse off, you're done. You go back into After Effects and you've got a very complex curve with all the keyframes already set. Now you can, of course, go back and tweak all those. The Wiggler takes a different tack. You go to the Wiggler and you set up the different parameters in there. You hit go and all of a sudden you've got very complex motion that was just created with random noise and you've done maybe five minutes of work where before it would have been a few hours to try to set something like that up. Now with After Effects 3.0 when you bring in an Illustrator file you can make it as small or as large as you want and it will never break up. Before you would have had to go into a 3D program to do something like that. Now with the Illustrator rasterization a snap. I mean, it's very easy to do and it's beautiful. The support you get is incredible. They really understand what the professional marketplace needs and they deliver 100%. Motion graphics are my life. Seriously, it's, it wasn't until After Effects came along that I was actually able to make a, a living doing desktop video. Well, I was doing this job for a, a major international telephone company. And we're out in space. And we're going right down to the street in front of their headquarters building in one move. And if you've ever done a cosmic zoom, you know that doing a linear cosmic zoom where you're just going straight down, no problem. Well, that's fine if you're going linear, but what if you have to increase or decrease your speed very slowly throughout the move? Well, I'm sorry, I don't do that kind of math. <laughs> you know? They do that kind of math at NASA. I don't do it. After Effects 3 was absolutely critical for that because I could do the entire thing in one move. It's, it's a program of extremely high quality. It's one of the best written programs on the planet. It really is. I love the idea that people who are doing multimedia and people who are doing even web-based design could have a hold of this tool. It doesn't matter if you're doing feature films with it, if you're doing videos with it, if you're doing the most low-end, you know, eight-color animation with it. It's still the best tool that there is. No one had ever heard of After Effects when I wanted to teach the class. It's since become probably the most popular class at Art Center in, in the computer graphics department. There's always a waiting list for it. Someone turned to me in the middle of crit. We were all looking at each other's work, and she said to me, I can't believe that four weeks ago no one knew this program. Look at what they're doing. I'll see photographers take their photos and put them to music and motion. It'll take a medium that they're already very skilled in and then take it to another level. When I first saw After Effects, I had the same kind of charge that I got when I first saw the Macintosh, in that here was something that had been only reserved for people who worked on paint boxes and Harry's and Henry's, who were highly trained professionals in a very specialized industry, being able to work within a certain medium. And it was opening up that medium to individuals on an affordable personal computer with software that is within the range of, you know, it's user-friendly enough for anyone to learn it. Where would I find out more information about Adobe After Effects or the After Effects production bundle?
Legends of the Hidden Temple will be right back on Nick. And now back to Doug on Nickelodeon. Direto do estádio do Morumbi para apresentar um espetáculo de shopping. É o Shopping Butantã que entra em campo com a escalação que a torcida pediu. Pertinho do Morumbi. Com as melhores lojas, praça de alimentação dos restaurantes, três cinemas. E lá tem também o Carrefour. O shopping é bom, mas são juízes, hein? Necessity. We desperately need you. You better go tell your ma he's back. Is the mother. Let's think what we're gonna do about Mr. Legend. Of invention. Your celebrity has the power to give our enemies a pause. But in a town that needed a hero. So logistically speaking, I'll be between you and the bullet. Exactly. Necessity turned out to be. Don't take me for a fool. One tough mother. How nice. MacGyver's Richard Dean Anderson is Legend. Thank <laughs> you. 